Hi, hello everyone. I eight zero three eight six SX, and uh, we're gonna take a little trip on the fun side of YouTube today. How are we exactly gonna do that? Well, as you can see, we have a compact LTE light in front of us. It is. I have my LTE light twenty in front of us here today. This is the uh, a three eighty six. I believe the SL running at a whopping 20 megahertz and 12 megs of RAM. I have DOS on here, DOS 6.0, and Windows 3.1, but that part doesn't really matter. So what are we gonna do with this thing? Well, this is one of those hundreds of videos of will a potato run doom? Well. Obviously the computer itself is not a potato, but by the technical standards uh, of 2021, this computer is basically a potato. There's a gentleman out there that, I'll put a link in the description, that actually did play Doom on potatoes, in theory. Well, the potatoes with power source, and before I go too far into this, anyone that says there are not good partners out there, that is simply not true. Case in point, the gentleman that powered a device off of potatoes to play Doom is evidence of that. I want to meet this person's wife because to have all those potatoes in the house, yeah. That's more than probably any other partner would put up with. But, anywho, we are going to see if this 386, how well it will run Doom. If it will run Doom. Bare minimum system requirements, I think it's 4 megs of RAM and a 386DX. This is not even a DX, this is I believe an SL, like I said. So, let's install. Oh. And we will install around C. Most of the LTE light series, they have the uh, TFT displays on them. This one I don't believe does. I think this is a passive matrix display. So that'll add another complication to this. Was originally going to use my LTE light 25C for this. which has the color screen on it and whatnot, but there is a notable handicap with that that exists on the vast majority of these machines is that data transfer is a little bit tough on the account that the diskette drive doesn't work on it. The diskette drive works on this one, so that kind of falls even better into what I want to do. And this is the shareware version, as you can tell. And just to give a little history lesson, the first version of Doom was released late 1993. I believe it was in December of 1993 to be exact. This compact LTE light first came out in January of 1992. So, what the white world is going on here? Alright, we... I have no idea what that disc is. Maybe I left it. Oh, there she might be. Yeah, just that wrong disc in there. Okay, no crisis yet. Another notable handicap about the LTE lights, or really I think any laptop in the early 90s, is there is no sound card in this thing. Without the docking station, it is simply impossible to put one in this system. I did do a video on the fun of working with the docking station for this thing, and it, for those I haven't seen already, it is actually quite a beast and quite versatile for something of, from 1992. So, if you haven't already, you may want to go on my other channel and find that video. But be warned, it's a comedy of errors. 
okay, finished rebuilding, complete, so let's install this one again. Notice this says fast self extract utility and explanation marks. I also do have a PS2 mouse connected to this thing. I don't think it's necessary for Doom, but just in case I need it, we have it. And it is a laser mouse, and it actually does detect properly on this machine. Okay, so let's do the setup. And we don't have no, let's do keyboard and mouse. We have, all right, so no music, and no PC card, PC speaker, so. Here goes nothing. Now, we, unfortunately, we're going to lose the awesomeness of that Doom music, but what are you going to do? Nine dollars. Which games only cost that much today? At defaults, it's not exactly smooth sailing here. Let's see if I can turn up that sound a little bit. Oh, a little bit. Let's try that. Now that did quite a bit good. Uh oh. Well, I died. Great start. <laughs> Alright, that's a little bit better start. At least we collected something that won't kill us. And I'll tell you right now, this is very frustrating on this passive matrix display. Hell or high water, I am going to finish this level in some capacity.
don't know if I can shoot that guy yet. I... It's been a long time since I played this on actual working equipment beyond a demo. So you can just try exit out of this thing at this point and let's see how bad I did. My God. You are here. And I'm sorry, that is unplayable. So, we are going to quit this. And just to, just a general my opinion of this, it's, 386 handles most stuff okay. It's the screen, the passive matrix display that really makes this gaming experience unbearable. So I think the next thing to try and do is maybe hook up a modern day screen to this and see what we can do with that. Otherwise I could dig on my LT Lite 25, but the performance will be about the same. I don't know how well the screen itself will perform, but it depends on what I decide to do ultimately when I pause this video and try to do whatever. So with the magic of video editing, I'm either going to get out my LTE Lite 25C or we're going to hook up a modern display up to this machine. So with the magic of video editing, we will have Doom on some kind of LTE Lite. That's not this configuration. Well, folks. If you can closely tell, I'm a glutton for punishment, and I went for the path of greater resistance in this case. This is a compact LTE Lite 25C, and I think I got the executable on there properly, so we'll see. One thing I didn't pay attention to is how much RAM this thing has in it, but... Let's see if I can... Uh... Find that information out. survey says looks like it's got about 12 megs of RAM. Okay, perfect. One thing I did not do on this computer, I, again, I don't know if it matters, is we need the mouse. So let's get a mouse on there. Pretty sure you have to restart the whole computer or shut it off to get that mouse, so we will do that right now. I technically do have, oof, four megs of RAM. Good thing I double checked that. We might be pushing it with that. We'll see how this goes in a second, but we really could be pushing it now. Or 
sure that's going to make matters significantly worse. I don't know if studio lighting does us any good or bad. The slider on here does next to nothing. Well, anyway, let's try to install Doom. And fortunately, my theory panned out where I can copy the installation to a directory and a hard drive. Because without the floppy, it kind of really limited what you can do on one of these old machines. As you can tell, this is basically a snail's crawling like a snail, extracting this file. But we should be good on hard drive space, because I think we had about 50 megs of free space left. And I did not have that snapped in all the way. Alright, so we got keyboard and mouse. No music, PC speaker. Let's see what we get. Now, insufficient memory. So, I am going to have to put some memory in this machine. Well, magic video editing, I'm going to do just that. I think I do have some memory that will work with this machine. All right. So, memory modules, that was easier said than done. If gobs of LTE light memory modules, that's good news. The bad news is they were all for 486 based memory, uh, 486 based computers. Let's see if this one will go. This should bring it up to 8 megs of RAM. If you really want to know the great details of memory upgrades on this machine, I do have a video on that as well. Sure, it detected the full eight. And as you can tell, four on board, four memory card. The memory upgrade is also one of the only easy pieces of hardware to access on this machine. Well, I guess the LCD isn't too bad either, but. But. The LTE series of basically all of them, everything fits in really snug, so it's easy, but it's a pain. So let's exit out of Windows. Say Doze. Alright, so let's try Doom again. Oh, die, yeah. Not no dying yet. Alright, so CD Dooms. And let's see. Maybe it's we'll just do Doom. I don't know if my settings actually saved, but we'll find out. That's looking a little bit better. Uh, 
So let's turn that graphic detail down to low. How do I have to do that? Okay. Oh, there's sound volume. I don't know if it does anything, but... Give her a go. Goodness. The screen is night and day. This is very playable. Let's see how it responds when we have to shoot somebody. And I don't know if the light is doing me any good or if it's uh, screwing things up for everybody. That's All right. I think it's about a tie. Oh, that one got fast. And they ran into something I shouldn't have run into. I got myself but a quite in a predicament here. We got him. Wait a minute. Something tells me there was a door there, but. Stuck. Well, according to that, I did worse on the better display. All right. So, we'll quit the DOS, and now you can see there were the differences between the LTE Lite 20 display and the LTE Lite 25C display, and... You saw it with me, you can, with a 
such a slither of a difference in CPU speed and that the display is everything. And who knows, maybe there's a slightly different graphics card in this 25C that the 20 doesn't have. I'm not sure. But Doom is very playable on a potato by today's standards. So if I were you, at this point, if you're going to go play Doom on anything, go for those TFT displays. You'll thank me later. So that's pretty much it for this video. It's just a quick, fun little tour of light gaming on an LTE light. So if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, or even constructive criticism, please feel free to leave it in the comments section. I know I'm terrible at gaming, so please do not comment on that. We already know what you saw in front of us that I am terrible. So thank you again for watching the lighter side of i80386SX.